Hello, my name is Mark with RAND 3D, and I'd like to show you how to use what we call an attribute link, which allows us to take a parameter from our physical model, link it to text inside the drawing. If that parameter ever changes inside the model, it'll automatically change on the print as well, not just the physical uh, graphical representation of the model. So to do this, you have to have both a part file and a drawing file. Now, I've already taken the time to build a drawing and project an isometric view of that model into the drawing itself. Now, to be able to link an attribute, what we'll do is click on text inside the drawing workbench, select where we want that text to go, whether it's in a view or whether it's in the sheet background, it's really up to you. Now, it allows us to be able to place our text. Now, I could do something like material. And leaving my cursor where I want this value to show up, I will actually go to the text on the sheet of paper, right click and say attribute link. Now it's waiting for me to select what object I'm trying to link to this drawing. So by going back to the original part, I can select on this parameter that I created for material. It allows me to see that material was set to steel. Hit OK, and it now writes out steel on that sheet of paper. Now, I'm also going to hit OK there. I'm going to create a new parameter uh, as if I'm building it from scratch. So we'll go back to the original model. Now, I've got a list here of parameters, um, bottom mount holes and material. If I want to create a new parameter of, of a unique type, I will select the formula button, let's say a little f of x symbol. Now down here, there's new parameter of type, and you get to pick the type that you want. There's all kinds of different uh, types of values that can be used, so angle, time, mass, volume, and so on. We're going to go with string, which is, means a text value. Click that button, new parameter of type string. Creates this thing called string3, and I'm going to give this a new name. I'm going to call it creator. Now with that creator value, the name I'm gonna give it is my own. And all that does is create a variable, creator is equal to mark, okay? Just holding on to that text value for us. Now to use that text value, I'm gonna go back to my print. Now I could build a new text value somewhere else. I'm gonna go back to the one I already have, double click on it, I see material steel. Shift and enter will allow me to go to another row. I'll do that a couple times. And I'll type in uh, drawing creator. And the drawing creator is going to be equal to, again, I will right click in the text field um, on the sheet of paper, attribute link, go back to my actual part file and select on that parameter. Now, the one thing I just messed up on there is I did not select the actual value. So even though I hit OK, I didn't choose which one to apply. And there was only one to choose from. So let's try that again. Right click, attribute link. Select on the creator attribute. Now, important, select on it, which I didn't do. Hit OK, and it adds my name. Now. Let's say someone else was trying to take credit for all the work I've just done, uh, or somebody else wanted to be able to change the value that's there. Uh, what we would be able to do is go back to this parameter in the model. If I went and changed it from Mark to Tom, never trusted that Tom anyway. Select OK. Now if I go to the attribute link, in here, we will see that it still currently is showing the creator is Mark. Now what we need to do is have this drawing update and the modifications we performed so far have not given it a reason to update that value. Now if I went back to my part file and made some physical change, unhide this plane, that lets the system know that a physical change has happened to this model. If I go back here, 
hit the update button, notice it has refreshed that text value. Now it says Tom. Now the plane doesn't actually show up here anyway, so it's not uh, changing the physical aspect, but if we were concerned about that, we could always change it back. Hide show. Go back to the actual model. Now it's gonna ask us to hit update because it sees that plane was hidden. Nothing has changed here, but it now has the correct text values automatically updating in our frame. Okay. One last thing, maybe you don't wanna build a parameter, you already have a parameter. For example, the part number. So I'm gonna double click on here, hit shift and enter a couple more times. The part number is going to be equal to, I'm going to right click on this and say attribute link, toggle back to the model itself. And if I select on the very top of this, or any feature for that matter, but I'm gonna select the very top part number itself, it gives me a list of all the parameters that can be found within that model. Now, these aren't parameters that I built on my own, but as I was building the model, they were created in the system automatically. Well, if I scroll all the way down here, there's attribute link demo part number. Now it's set to attribute link demo. I'm gonna hit apply and it automatically sticks that part number in for us as well. Again, these will update. If they don't automatically update, they may need to be convinced to do an update by going back into your part model, hide or unhide a feature that's there and hide it again. The system will recognize that a change was made, then hit update and it should reflect those changes. Hope that's beneficial. Have a great day.